Good morning, everyone. Now it's Lynn to present the individual project named Inside Outside the Houses. Urban village is like a big family, especially for the immigrants. Houses inside can provide them a warm shelter, and outside is more a collective space. The project will start from the Tangtou Old Houses, built in 1958 as the farmers' dormitories. If viewing the city from the air, the Bai Shizhou look like the typhoon in the satellite cloud picture, and the Tangtou Old Houses are at the eyes of the typhoon and all the buildings are the range around. The project focuses on the block around the Tangtou Old Houses. Inhabitants can enter the block from the main streets in the north and the streets in the south. Problems of the current situation are obvious, mainly from the four aspects, the streets, old houses, square, and the buildings. Now I will explain how to deal with the problems and make the environment more livable. The implementation could be divided into four phases, starting from the living infrastructure, secondly, upgrade the residential environment in the handshake buildings. If the renovation project is feasible, it will be extended to more buildings. Finally, to develop a tourist industry in the urban villages, showing the diversity of the Shenzhen city. In the master plan, the block will be multifunctional, more open and collective. It will be a block with the commercial, residential, tourist and recreation functions. For the building refurbishment, I will start from this three. It's the functional partition of three buildings. From the ground to the second level will use for the commercial co-living space, and the upper level are for the residents. The roof space is decided as the garden. All kinds of activities such as the residential, the office, commercial, tourism, and so on will take place around the Tangtou Old Houses. From the street level, it's interesting to observe the stores firstly. Their properties and quantities will be recorded. This figure shows that the restaurant accounts for the largest percentage. The second one is the grocery, followed by the health beauty and the life service. Another point is that the stores are mainly located along the streets. As the commercial space, only vertical circulation of the building, the storage, and the ventilation room will be preserved. Then the rest will be used for the commercial purpose. In this case, space is more accessible to the internal block. And in the same time, more people will flow through the block, which can also make the street safer. Secondly, the building problem needs to be solved. These three typical handshake buildings are located along the important alleys. The sculpture and the vertical circulation will remain the same. Some changes will happen in the division of the interior space. Balcony, facade will be redesigned. Single rooms in the building 1 and 6 in the building 2. The shared kitchen, staircase, and the bathroom space are in the middle. In order to bring in the natural light as much as possible, a small atrium are at the full height. The room in the building 3 is bigger than in the building 1 and 2, so both toilets and bathrooms will be included. Here is the room typologies. Considering the weather in Shenzhen, sun-shake devices are designed in the facade. The idea of the pattern is from Chinese traditional windows. It can not only create a rich shadow atmosphere, but also good for the wind's ventilation. This strategy can make the space more livable and energy-saving. For example, the angle can change according to the sun height. So what advantages are from the building renovation project? 
For example, after the renovation, the landlord will enjoy the better living conditions as well as the economic benefits, since more rooms have been decided and rented. For the tenants, more job opportunities may be provided in the commercial space. Meanwhile, the lifestyle of the original tenants can remain. Finally, for the city, the landlords have been fully used. More working laborers can settle down in Shenzhen. The third problem-solving area is the Tangtou Old Houses. Now, it will be preserved and developed as the tourist attraction to show the Bai Shizhou history. Firstly, both the illegal buildings on the square and the utility rooms in front of the old houses will be demolished. Then, the majority will be refurbished. Wood material is the good option in the courtyard and the platform design. Last but not the least, the square has been decided as the collective space. It's in front of the Tangtou Old Houses, a unique open area in Bai Shizhou, where are full of the handshake buildings. It will be an entertainment space for the residents. Since Chinese people attach the great importance to traditional festival, the square has the potential to be a place where festival occurs in four seasons. For example, the Lunar New Year is coming. The square may be used as the flower market temporary. Some decoration to show the atmosphere of New Year. It's the section image to show what the block will be after the renovation projects. It includes the residence, commercial, collective space, However, they totally will be demolished and replaced with the modern high-rise in the renovation project from the Shenzhen government. From my perspective, it's kind of important to keep the diversity of life. How do the city grow in difference is a critical issue to explore. So above is the main work on my part. Thanks for your listening.